The Queen's death is being felt here in the Bay Area as well. 10 Tampa Bay's Miranda Parnell live at the Chataway restaurant in St. Pete. Miranda, you spoke with the owner who has some fond memories of the Queen. That's right. She said that, you know, this is news that has shaken up the globe. And when you look back through the Queen's life, she was always there for her country through thick and thin. I want you to take a look at the memorabilia on the walls here. Gillian Frayer says that regardless of party or status in Britain, at the end of the day, everyone loved the Queen. She remembers a time years ago when she actually got to see the Queen in person. And now she says that moment means more to her than ever. I was living here in America. I married an American. And when I went home and read in the newspaper uh, that she was going to appear at some sort of a thing that morning, I made sure that I attended it. The band came and she came and she's smiling and everybody was happy that day. Even the weather was nice. And I was so glad I got the opportunity to do it because I was coming back and I've been here ever since. And the Queen actually did make an appearance here in the Bay Area back in the 90s. She visited the University of Tampa, spent some time speaking with the mayor of Tampa at that time. And our very own Dave Wagner was actually reporting and covering that event. So he may have some stories for us today. And there was another Bay Area connection, actually, we have from the Queen. She gifted two swans back in the 50s to the city of Lakeland, where they drew visitors far and wide to Lake Morton. And we will have more coverage of the Queen's impact here in our area right now, live at the Chataway in St. Petersburg. Miranda Parnell, 10 Tampa Bay. Connections here that maybe you, you didn't know about until Absolutely. today. Absolutely. You know, I always loved watching her with her grandchildren and especially that last appearance at the Platinum Jubilee when she was yes. leaning down, talking to her youngest and, and saying, oh, look at the airplanes. It was just, just very, very see. precious mm -hmm. with the grandmother, of course. And just about two hours ago, Congressman Charlie Crist, he put out a statement saying that she was the first British monarch to visit our state. And of course, she will be remembered for her lifetime of public service and her devotion to duty. Senator Marco Rubio said her courage and inspiration guided our closest allies.